Hello YouTube Nation, this is Jesse from InstaFishing.com. Welcome to my man cave. It's actually more of a very dirty storage room and furnace room. That's probably the buzzy here or there. Um, but this little four feet of space, this is this is what I this is where all the magic happens. And by magic I mean fishing preparation, tackle, all the storage, whatnot. You can see my little Want to be makeshift wall there. Uh, this is where I have a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, today I'm not going to talk too much about this spot. Maybe I'll give a little tour in another video. But tonight I just want to talk a little bit about uh, fishing the Capilano River. It's mid July. Um, right now the water is really low. Um, fish are not getting up the river. They're kind of just hanging out in the pools up above, and their mouths are shut. It's pretty hard to fish. When the water's low like this, good idea is to. Um, toss out tiny little spinners, spoons. This year I haven't had a chance to get out too much. Uh, we just wrapped up a huge renovation so I have not had a chance to uh, get out there very often. The few times I did I was skunked but I had a great time. Um, but yeah tomorrow I might go tomorrow morning and bring the camera along see what we can get into. But yeah tomorrow I was thinking about trying a few things. I'm definitely going to bring the little spoon spinners like a blue blue fox. One of my favorites is a copper size 2. Um, I've had really good success with that. Actually, probably more success than with that lure than I've had with row. Um, I'll give you guys a little. This is part of my. Actually, this is. This is the bad boy right here. Just one of them. I don't know how like, you'll be able to see that. Oh. Anyway, this guy. He works great on the Capilano River when the when the river's low. Even smaller, that might even be a bit big actually now that I look at it. Um, <laughs> Copper, but using I think I just had a hit, which is actually surprising. First cast there, little bump may have been from a smolt. So the uh, loot box isn't working, so I've changed to a little kind of a quick. I forget what these are called. It's got some erratic action. It's very different. Not something I typically use, but. Um, I've had a lot of smolts interested in it. Whoops. Again, I'm casting away. So a lot of smolts have been following it, so maybe that'll be, uh, maybe one of the, the grandpas will bite it. Lots of fish. I can see a lot of fish in the water right now. They're just cruising along, having nothing to do with anything here. Beautiful. As you can see, that's the bridge here. This is the fishing boundary. You can't fish beyond that. And just up the river is the Capilano uh, hatchery. I think a fly rod is probably your best bet here because they are surfacing. Something very small, whatever it is, it's got to be small. Now the problem with this spot, as you can probably tell, if I, if I uh, get a fish, how do I land it? 
I've seen guys with really long nets fishing here, which is the way to go. But um, my plan of attack is uh, tow it up. <laughs> I'll play them out a little bit and then just one heave ho, bring them up. The water is so low that I can actually get pretty close down there. And I might even just around the bend here, might have better access just down there. I can see a guy's got a little one over there on the fly. Just a little gaffer. Oh, can get the net. Oh, it's hard to tell if that's a resident trout or a coho. Well, that about does it. No bites. I can see a lot of fish in there. They're just, they're not taking anything. Saw one guy hook one on the fly. It seems like something like that size is the only thing that's getting any sort of action. Anyway, a lot of fun.